Today, we will take you through the differences between 254 SMO and Alloy 59. It is not an easy task to choose the right material for your system, components and expansion joints, especially when we speak about more complex materials. The reasons why we choose one material or the other is failure of the system, what are the implications if the system fail, corrosion resistance, welding, forming capabilities, cost of the material, material availability, and the application itself. Two five four SMO is commonly known as SMO. SMO and alloy fifty nine belong to high alloy steel family. SMO is commonly used for ship and scrubber application, and is suitable for seawater and some concentration of acid. As an example, there is some scrubber systems where they raise the temperature for cleaning purposes. When they raise the temperature the water evaporate and the acid get concentrated. So we have seen some corrosion sometimes in the SMO. Even though it's good for the application itself, there is a process that makes the material non-suitable. It is really important to evaluate what are the consequences of the failure. If the consequences of failure are really high, then the price differences between Alloy 59 and SMO are not relevant, because we will have to pay much more money to fix the failure than the difference between the prices of the two components. And let's put an example of this. It's not the first time that we had a call because a ship was stopped in the middle of the ocean. Just the cost of transport a unit from Bellman to the ship is much more expensive than the difference of choosing the most conservative material from the beginning. In order to help you to minimize the risk, Bellman did a research and prepare a case study for a scrubber application where we describe different behavior of materials in different conditions. You can get free access to this document by contacting us. Please remember, Bellman team is always happy to help you. Please get in touch if you have any doubt about this topic.